Ectopic pregnancy is a common diagnosis in modern gynecological practice. And what we are seeing now is usually the diagnosis is made quite early. This makes it amenable to medical management. If the standard criteria for medical management are met, then the current standard of care is systemic methotrexate injection. The question is, how do you follow up the beta HCG levels and how do you interpret them? Earlier, the thought was that only the day 7 levels of beta HCG after systemic methotrexate has been given should be considered and given credibility. But modern emerging literature says that the day 4 levels of beta HCG are also valuable and they do guide management to a large extent. Keeping in mind that a woman should continue to meet the criteria for medical management, I usually do a beta HCG level 96 hours or on day 4 after the systemic methotrexate has been injected. Now, the important message is the 15% change in the levels that we have to observe. If a woman has a 15% decrease in the levels, say her level was 3500 and now it is 3000, that means the medical treatment is working well and she will have a 90% chance that no surgical intervention will be needed. So she is going to be through with her medical treatment for the ectopic pregnancy. You just have to continue monitoring the levels, that's all. If there is a 15% rise, so for example from 3500, she goes to 3900, 4000, that means that the medical treatment may not be working so well, in which case there is a 50% or more chance that she will need a surgical intervention. Usually this might be in an emergency situation. So this is a point of time where we need to reconsider where we are going. But what about the grey area in between? There is not a 15% rise, neither is there a 15% drop. So for example, methotrexate was given at a level of 3500, but on day 4, the level is 3700 or 3200, 3300. How do you approach this kind of a situation? Well, one approach is that you just let things be and continue to observe, do the level after 3 or 4 days. But I think there is a merit in repeating the dose of methotrexate at this stage in this grey area kind of situation. By doing this kind of a follow up and a repeat dose of methotrexate, you are minimizing the risk of having a ruptured ectopic pregnancy leading to an emergency situation. At the same time, you are also reducing the chances of unnecessary surgical intervention. So the current thought is a day 4 beta HCG level which should be followed up and then a decision whether to keep going with the medical therapy or a surgical intervention. Thanks for watching the video.